Evacuate your colleagues from multiple level buildings fast, safe, and easy with the Easy Glide Evacuation Chair from Ferno. The unique track system on the Easy Glide carries a passenger's weight downstairs for you. Just one person can evacuate individuals up to 200 pounds, and two people can evacuate individuals up to 500 pounds. Clear instructions on the back of the Easy Glide help users understand the operation of the chair in emergencies. The Easy Glide has four wheels and one inch track clearance to quickly maneuver your passengers over carpet and through rooms and hallways. A full range of features, such as extending handles, restraints, and a footrest, give your passenger a sense of security and reduce your chance of injury during the evacuation. The Easy Glide folds and hangs for convenient placement and quick deployment during emergencies. The chair is easily carried back upstairs for additional evacuations if needed. Facility administrators can have confidence in the Easy Glide with its 15 year warranty. For more information, contact Ferno at 877 733 0911 or visit evacuation.ferno.com. The Easy Glide Evacuation Chair is easy to use in the event of an emergency. Passengers weighing 200 pounds or less can be taken downstairs by one operator working from the head end. Passengers weighing 200 to 500 pounds should be taken downstairs by two operators, with one person at the head end and the other at the foot end. Be sure to stay with your passenger at all times while they're in the chair and use the passenger restraints. Instructions on the back of the evacuation chair provide clear, simple guidance for operating the chair. First, to open the chair, grab the backrest with one hand and the red lock bar with the other hand. Pull the lock bar forward and pull the seat away from the backrest until it is fully unfolded onto the floor and the lock engages. Make sure the lock is engaged. Second, squeeze the red release tabs together with one hand and raise and lower the lift handle to a comfortable position with your other hand. Make sure the lift handle is locked in place. Third, grab the track release bar and pull it back until the track opens and locks into the fully extended position. Make sure the lock is engaged by trying to push the track closed. With the chair ready, set the wheel locks and seat the passenger. Extend the footrest and restrain the passenger's feet, waist, and torso with the available restraints. Fourth, to begin going downstairs, disengage the wheel locks and roll the front of the chair to the stairs and tilt the chair back. Fifth, guide the chair over the edge of the top step allowing the track belts to engage the step and move the chair slowly downward until the tracks are resting on the top two or three steps. Sixth, continue with your descent. To maintain the glide angle as you go down the stairs, you may need to apply slight downward pressure on the extended lift bar. If your passenger is over 200 pounds, use a second operator at the foot end of the chair to help move and maintain control of the chair. The second operator can press the red release button on the foot end handles and push or pull the handles to their desired stop point. Make sure the lift handles are locked in place. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, engage the wheel locks, unfasten the restraints, and help your passenger off the chair. Inspect the chair at least once per year to ensure proper operation in the event of an emergency. Building occupants should also receive periodic training to make sure they're familiar with the operation of the chair. For inspection schedules and for more detailed usage instructions, refer to the manual included with the chair.